What is up guys? Welcome to Gamers Raid. Uh, today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial. I had a few people ask me about this for uh, Farming Simulator 2019. So my setup is basically my keyboard, my G29 steering wheel and my next to me I have my joystick. It's a Extreme 3D Pro um, from Logitech as well. So th first thing you want to do is download Xpadder. I mean you can just type into Google um, Xpadder 5.7, make sure you get 5.7, download that, unzip it, and then you are gonna get something like this. So what you wanna do is open Xpadder, and if you're using Windows 10, I decided to throw this in as well, if you're using Windows 10, you're gonna get this error message. So to fix that, we're gonna go right click, properties, compatibility, and say run compatibility troubleshooter. So this will basically just sort out, and it's basically going to re revert to uh, Windows 7 for this program. So I'm going to say try recommended settings and test the program and that works fine. Good. So we're going to say next and save these settings for this program. So now everything will be fine. So if I go close that, so OK, and I close Xpeda down here. Next time I open it, that is going to work fine. Right. So what we're going to do is you're going to have a blank layout like this. So there's a little like spanner tool there. You want to click on that and you're going to get a big purple screen. So with my joystick is basically got your normal movement. It's got like left, right, up, down. And then it's also got a your movement, which basically we go front, back, left and right. It can also do that. So it's got a your movement. So I use that as well. And then it's also got a hat switch on it that I also use. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to sticks and enable that and now it's going to ask me to push the stick left and uh, let's cancel that there we go left so i'm going to push that left and up right so if i move my joystick left up right down and everything in between it also picks that up so that is perfect so we're going to keep that on the right hand side there's another one we're going to click that as well and i'm going to assign this to the your movement so it should if I turn left and turn right. So it asked me to move it up, but I turned it to the right hand side. So I'm gonna say, okay, and you're gonna have these two blocks. So basically that'll do your movement on the left hand side there. That's if I rotate my joystick around. And if I do the your movement, it's gonna highlight two blocks at a time. So that is perfect. So I'm gonna go back there and do a D-pad. So this is gonna be for my hat switch. So I'm gonna enable that and go up, down, left and right on the hat switch so that is all programmed so that is really good and then i'm also going to program two buttons on the joystick so you just click on buttons and hit the two buttons so i want to use those two and that's going to assign that so that is done so basically this is the layout that you have now so what we're going to do is we need to map uh basically controls to this so how this works is basically going to take the input from the joystick and assign it to a button on your keyboard. So I have a layout. I worked all of this out that works for me. So basically what I'm going to do is I've got a crypt notes next to me over here. So I'm going to click on that one there, which is left on the joystick. And that is going to be button M. So we're going to do that. And right hand side is going to be K. So let's do that. Right. Then the forward movement is going to be shift and J and downward is then going to be shift and N. So this will all make a bit more sense later on. So for the hat switch, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assign up to J and down to N. If that is correct. It is indeed. And then left is going to be shift and M and right is going to be shift and K. So that'll all. So basically, if I hit that button there, it's basically hitting J on the keyboard. Or if I move left, it's basically doing M on the keyboard. So that is all good over here. I'm going to use even though it highlights two at a time, you don't need to map both. Um, I'm just going to do left and this is going to be control shift and n yeah and right hand side is going to be control shift and j 
So for the two buttons, they are going to be control shift M and K. So control shift M for that one and control shift K for that one. Good. So that is our layout and that should all work. Now, if I hit the buttons and I move that around, that should basically do what I wanted to do. Right. So we're going to go into farming simulator. You can hit save here and that'll save all your settings. You can rename it something. So I'm going to head over to farming simulator and then I'll show you guys what to do there to get the wheel and the joystick and all working. So I'll see you in one second. Right, okay, so we are in Farming Simulator 19 now, so I've fired up the game. I'm in a saved game where I basically have a bit of equipment that, it's basically a hack save game, I put in like 10 million dollars. And yeah, basically what we're going to do now is set up the in-game control. So when you hit escape, um, you'll probably end up on this screen. You go over to controls, it's going to give you key, uh, keyboard controls, leave everything as is. Don't change anything there. Um, otherwise it might conflict with your X pattern setting. So mine is all set up for the default controls um, in the game. You can, if you want to change something here, change it, but then make sure it sort of works with X pattern as well. I prefer to just leave it as is. So what we're going to do is go over to gamepad controls and over here you're going to see there is a lot of inputs. So what we want to do is click on that and hit backspace on everything. Absolutely everything. So we're going to clear all of that out. There is uh, that one that does not delete for me the open menu. I don't know why. If yours deletes, feel free to delete it. But it, it's not a big deal for me. It doesn't want to delete. But that's fine. Everything else delete uh, deletes fine. So we're going to run through that quickly and get rid of everything. Because we're essentially using key, uh, keyboard input and not mapping it directly to the joystick. Uh, this is all double, so you'll see if you delete one, it takes two of them away. That's because it's on a plus and minus axis. So that is good. Uh, but yeah, we're essentially using keyboard bindings, but uh, controlling it with the joystick. So that's why we're going to get rid of all of this. So nearly done. A few more, there we go. run through that and that is it right so we're gonna hit spacebar and save control so if we hop into this here then you're gonna see well if I hit my pedals or anything now nothing's gonna happen my steering wheel nothing is gonna happen but if I move my joystick backwards that pulls it backwards if I push it forward that pushes it forward and then if I hit the hat switch to the right hand side that's going to extend the boom and to left hand side is going to retract the boom and up is going to lift the main boom up and down where normal forward and backwards on the joystick lifts the small part of it so that's just how i wanted you can obviously map this to your own preference and then if i do the your motion that motion on the joystick uh, if you look at the front of the attachment that rotates it right and left so that's really handy for me um, and then the buttons um, that I mapped uh, at, on this device is also extend and reta uh, retract, same as the hat switch. But if we flick over to here, the buttons are actually going to open and close um, the crane arm. And the hat switch is going to retract that. So there is a bit of um overlapping on the controls but it actually does make sense if you're using the correct device and then also if we head back over to here um, with the front loader then the movement on the joystick is going to control that and the hat switch is going to control that but the yaw also controls up and down so you can use whatever you want to use um, but it does actually all make sense but what we want to do now is head back to game controls and over here we're going to go down to you can do attach tool and map it to whatever you want on your steering wheel or select tool you can map those buttons you can also map this to more buttons on um, your joystick so if i make that circle for instance start stop engine then that's what it's going to map to and then if we go further down uh, somewhere around here should be accelerate unless uh, there we go 
brake and accelerate. So accelerate is accelerator pedal. What I would do with my G29 is with the brake pedal, I actually assign that to the clutch and then steer right all the way right and move it back to the center and that's going to map left as well. So let's leave that at that and we're going to hit space and say save controls and we're going to jump back over to our crane here. There we go. So if I hit circle now, that's going to start the engine. If I hit accelerate, we're going to move forward. If I hit the clutch, we're going to brake and we're going to move backwards. So another small thing here as well. Let me shut that down. A small thing here as well is if you go to that little screen up there, what you want to do uh, is, is it over here or is it at the other screen? There we go. The one with the tractor. Um, I think it is here. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Maybe it is here. Um, reset, dynamic, uh, money unit. No, none of that. Somewhere around here, there's a setting. There we go. Easy arm controls. So you want to turn that off. Uh, default, that is turned on. So the arm control, basically what happens then if you push the joystick forward, it's going to lift the arm up, but also extend it if that is on. So you definitely want to switch um, easy arm controls uh, off. Then you get the, the full range, the full working range of the crane. So that is an important one as well. And you can't do uh, this in game you have to go to the main menu if you want to set your dead zone so i basically set my pedal um dead zone to two percent if you put it on zero the tractor is going to have a tendency to drive backwards constantly so that is a bit of an issue i'm not sure if it's only with a g29 it might be i'm not sure but i leave my pedals on a two percent dead zone my steering i put on a zero percent dead zone um, and that works perfectly fine for me as you can see that rotates perfectly fine so that is basically how you set it up. So you can go through your controls, gamepad controls, and assign everything here. You can assign for walking around. I generally do um, walk forward and backwards, the same as accelerate and uh, my brake pedal. The reason why I use a clutch um, for brake in this game is because it's a much easier movement. Uh, on the G29, it's got a little rubber block inside the brake pedal a lot of people remove it i prefer it for racing that's my personal preference and it makes a brake quite hard to press so if you want to reverse with your tractor you really have to put some force on that pedal uh, to get it to reverse so i just assign it to the clutch pedal and it's a little bit easier um, to reach your feet aren't as close together as they normally would be so yeah you can you can map all of that into vehicle and all um to your steering wheel and to the buttons on your joystick. Just make sure to not use buttons that you've already mapped in Xpadder on your joystick. Otherwise you might have some conflict. But yeah, so that's basically gonna do it for today. So now you can head around and play around with your crane and do whatever you wanna do, extend and... I mean, it makes it a, a lot easier. I found it makes it a lot easier if you've got a joystick, um, especially for logging, it's not as fidgety as with the keyboard or even with the mouse. Um, everything's very intuitive. I mean, it, it takes a while to, to get used to it. Um, but within a few hours, you'll know exactly how your crane works and everything works. And that's why these things have joysticks as standard when they are built as well, because it just makes the job a hell of a lot easier. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, I think I covered everything there. I hope I covered everything. If I missed anything, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, but yeah, so that, that just makes it a, a lot easier. I try to map the steering wheel and the joystick in the game itself, not using external software um, like Xpadder. I could not for the life of me get it to work. So if you get it to work, great. Uh, feel free to use that. If you're struggling like I did, Xpadder works perfectly fine. I've been using it since uh farming simulator 15 and then 17 and now 19 and it still works perfectly fine for me so yeah we're gonna leave it there for today guys i think like i said i think i covered everything i hope so if you enjoyed this if you found it helpful uh please remember to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time mm -hmm.